You want to see how to build quick and dirty true scale marines? Well, here it is. You take legs from a Tartarus Terminator, bodies from either Primaris or from Mini Marines, the fattest heads you can possibly find, pauldrons from Custodes or Aggressors, power packs from wherever, bolt rifles and various different bolter types from Primaris kits, as many weird bits and pieces as you could possibly find. Some various junk that you just chuck in. If that's a super fast version of it. If you want to see how the rest of it's made, carry on watching. If you want to see it in more detail, here's the rest of the video. Disclaimer. This is a rough build, just ignore the faults. I'm not going to cut myself, you don't need to worry. So here are the hobby tools I'm going to be using for this. We've got Tamiya Snip, because they're the best ones. We have cheap old knackered hobby knife and Loctite glue, which is, has the best viscosity. I'm going to start off by cutting the mold lines off the legs. Then I'm going to take the torso, need to snip off the bum section and gouge out some of the internal bits. I'm trying to keep the belt on, but that's pretty much it. I have tough old fingers, don't need to worry about me cutting myself, they're made of leather. That's done. Still doesn't fit on, too, too proud on the legs. So I'm going to gouge out some of the central section of it. I'm going to cut this out quite roughly to begin with. I'm looking to try and get the belt and the two armor plates on each leg, get the right so that it'll, it'll fit in between. Make it a bit smoother. And there we go, fits on. Blob a huge chunk of glue in the center of it. This really doesn't need to be pretty because this bit is going to be hidden by lots of different janky bits in the future. And voila, he fits. No, the massive crack in his back. I use this bolter, the eliminator pattern bolter. I think it looks really cool. His arm doesn't quite stretch down, so I need a section to fit above it. The join between the two arm sections, I'm going to hide. And then use the pauldron from the aggressor's kit. The custodian's one didn't fit on over the gun. Bit of bodging. Bit more bodging. And perfect. Next, I had a lovely Tech Marine arm, so I'm just going to use this as the outstretched one. I love using hands that aren't doing anything or aren't holding weapons in uh, models. I also like connecting cables, so this has got a long cable in the back, which I'm going to add, which I'm going to add in a section. Just repositioning the arm to get it exactly right. Blob more Loctite. That should be a Loctite salesman and a Custodes pauldron. Now these aren't quite designed for Space Marine arms, surprisingly. And so you might need to dig them out a little bit or just fiddle around until they glue perfectly. Big old blob of glue in his neck hole. I love this fat head from the Tech Marine. I hadn't seen it before and it's I love the like half and half skull skull to face. <laughs> so yeah, I think it looks really cool. Suitably menacing. It was pretty much done here, right? Now to hide all the horrible stuff and add some extra nice cool bits. So just going to cut off the weird lump on his back. Stick on this backpack that I found from an old Devastator kit. I think the Grav Gravis gun one. Perfect. Got to hide that back hole. So I've added a load of pouches and a bolt pistol and I'm just going to add some purity seals to this join. You can see the arm's still a bit woggly here but it's fine. So purity seal one and purity seal two. Perfect. Anything that distracts from any of the gaps, you don't have to actually particularly cover it, but you can see here where I've got the gun belt on the pouches, just hide that gap. This tank fits absolutely perfectly to connect the two sections. Didn't even need to glue it, but I obviously did glue it. We're going to make the power pack look a little bit more interesting. I don't know why I cut the base off of these. I think I'm just a masochist. <laughs> I just wanted it to look nice and uh, yeah, I really like this. I'm, I like giving them extra height. So uh, any sort of bits like this. Uh, so often you get like watch winders in watch kits and those work really well for like, antenna as well. They're also a little bit stronger than the plastic ones. So they're much less likely to snap off. This is one of my favorite hobby tricks. So I'm cutting brass strip to make purity seals and ribbons and scroll work of all kinds. It keeps its shape really well. So once you've curled it, it doesn't uncurl. I find it much stronger than foil cans. So 
So this arm, this back arm bit is still a bit ugly and I want to have some like real drama to the model from behind. So I'm adding in these sections, I'm going to add in a skull as like a votive icon. You can see how nicely they, these fit in. I'm going to cut the back of the skull off. You might notice on the Tamiya snips has got some chain that <laughs> I'm going to use in a minute. So just cut that off. I'm going to stick the back of that to a small watch cog. Now let's see how spectacularly successful this is. Cool, and I knock all of the bits off. I'm using a watch part to make an iron halo. I really like doing this. It is fiddly as all hell though. Trying not to get it on the shoulder pad. And then I get add a chain to the back of his arm. I love all the lore about Marines having chains wrapped around their arms. <laughs> so, and also it just creates a really nice texture, especially once it is base coated. You can see that I've there now reattached the skull and the ribbons. Give it a big blob of glue. I'm just trying to obscure the ugly join. And voila, he's done. Also made these other three with slight variations on the theme. These are the original ones that I put in uh, put into Gilliman. Now you can notice that they're not they're probably a bit more janky from the front, <laughs> especially this guy. Uh, but they their proportions work really well. And but the thing is with these, I was very much uh, these I was very much designing them so that they look cool from behind rather than anything. So they've got very wide arm stance so that they're as chunky as possible. This is my particular favourite. This is with an aggressor's body, so it gives it an even thicker chunky like section to it but loads of seals loads of cogs loads of ribbons lots of like little aquila bits loads of pouches just stick those all over it and yeah there you go i hope you've enjoyed this and i hope you make some yourself if you've got any questions about it at all if you've got any questions about how to build these or how to build anything else please do ask me i'm always happy to help please like and subscribe and also i have a patron and also i have this 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 cool